we published uh, an abstract at ACG just a couple of weeks ago. Bill's a part of this study as well, where we've been monitoring the population prevalence of various functional GI disorders, including IBS and functional dyspepsia and a few others, um, and comparing the prevalence from before the pandemic to just when the pandemic was starting. And now we've been measuring uh, every month um, for uh, approaching a year now. And so the, the upshot is we have definitely seen an increase in the prevalence of irritable bowel syndrome throughout the United States compared to baseline. Using Rome 4 criteria, we're seeing uh, roughly 10% in our most recent surveys compared to sort of a baseline closer to 5% or so, 5 6% using those criteria. Now that doesn't necessarily mean COVID is the cause of all of this. I mean, a study like that poses more questions than it answers, but it makes you wonder, is this because of stress and anxiety that is occurring? This is sort of the, uh, the you know, the pandemic uh, from the pandemic of the mental health pandemic. Is this uh, COVID itself? Has there been a change in how people are eating, you know, tying in bills, uh, bills earlier? Who knows? But we definitely are seeing an increase in both functional dyspepsia and IBS, although we're not seeing it across all functional GI disorders. For example, we did not see a change in chronic idiopathic constipation uh, or opioid-induced constipation. We might have expected that with the opioid epidemic, but we haven't, uh, and other forms of functional GI disorders. But dyspepsia and IBS, we have seen it rising. So that's some new information, and we'll be writing that up and submitting it for publication soon.